Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. It was properly posted on the 14th of August. Our prayer and pledge will be led by Danny Lambert today. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for this awesome day you've given us, Lord, another glorious day here on earth. and. We know that each day is a gift, and I pray that we never take that for granted, Lord. Thank you for the rain you've nourished us with here lately. And we thank you for this great country that we live in, Lord, and the freedoms that we enjoy. Watch over our men and women who serve this country here and around the world. Protect them and watch over their families, Lord. Please guide our leaders, the President, Congress, all our elected officials, Lord, that they seek guidance from you, Lord, and they make the right decisions for our country. Lord, I pray for peace in this country and around the world. We've seen a lot of hate and evil here lately, Lord, but but we know that there is only one race, Lord, the human race that you created in your image, and you show no favoritism, Lord. You sent your Son who gave us the perfect example and gave us the greatest commandments to love you, Lord, our God, with all our heart, and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. I pray that all we that we can all follow the example of Christ in our lives in the commandments and his word. And this world would be a much better place, Lord. And we thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for all of us. And through his death, burial, and resurrection, Lord, we all have a chance at eternal life in heaven. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Danny. Danny, that's you. Great job, Danny. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of August 9th? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Five through 14 are the consent docket items. Move the consent items subject to individual consideration. Second. Um, there was something. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Item 15 is District 1. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to ask Joe to come up and talk about this. Please, Joe. Good morning, Commissioners. This is actually uh, an item that is a a BOCC item. It is a contract with the Department of Ag for uh, rodent uh, removal here in Oklahoma County. Uh, You may have received some phone calls here recently from a couple of folks upset. They were told that because the board had not approved this contract, these services were not being performed. However, in speaking with uh, Kevin Grant, who is the director of this program at the Department of Ag, that is not, in fact, the case. These services had continued to be performed. As a matter of fact, this contract is only for $2,400 a year. He said, really, this is a good faith uh, effort on the part of the board. This this amount has cha- been unchanged for, I think he told me, 80 years. So uh, for something that we didn't even know we didn't do last year, it's uh, it's received some uh, comment here recently. So uh, just so the phone calls will stop and the services will continue, uh, this this is before you. Is this the does this have anything to do with that feral hog? Uh, well, thing or is this different? It uh, we received that call as well about a helicopter and feral hogs. Uh, Commissioner, I don't know if if this, in fact, is that. But one of the calls that we had received was about a gentleman in uh, Midwest City who had some uh, chickens, and a fox was getting into his uh, chicken house and stealing his chickens. Uh, And the the contract provider for the Department of Ag, uh, he had contacted that gentleman, and he told him because the board didn't do this contract, those services weren't being performed. Again, as Mr. Grant told me, Department of Ag continued to perform those services. So there seems to be some disconnect between the contract provider for agriculture and the Department of Agriculture. Well, I'm just curious to whether or not the feral hog hunting is still going on since this deals with rodents. Uh, obviously, those aren't rodents. So and maybe I'm we need to look and see if that is a separate contract that we well, want I, to do. Well, Commissioner, I, I'm not aware that the board has ever had a contract regarding mm-hmm. feral hogs. and, and it, it, unless I'm 
and I I'm, haven't been hunting in quite a while, but I believe that uh, landowners have a right to take those hogs out at any time. Now, I'm not aware that we've ever had a contract on fur hogs either, but I got the call. Why aren't you guys, you know, renewing this yeah, contract? Yeah, and I, I actually believe that was a state issue, but... Okay. Um, All right. Thank you for answering the question. Yes, sir. Second, item 15. All in favor say aye. 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 District 3 has 16 and 17. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 16 is uh, a contract with the Jones Public School District uh, for us to do the Oklahoma County Fall Livestock Show there. This is a, a coordinated uh, course through the, the uh, OSU Extension and something we do on an annual basis. So I'll move, annu uh, move item 16. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Item 17 is a temporary easement for drainage uh, on a project that we're working on out at Sorghum Mill uh, and uh, Rockwell. Move item 17. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, County Clerk is to receive an abstractor's bond from Chicago Title. <coughs> Move the aye. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 A consulting services agreement for the DA with Ronald Belevins, Belevins Enterprises, to provide accident reconstruction analysis in the case of Holland versus BOCC. Move the aye. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Engineering has 20 through 22. Yes, Commissioners, item 20, uh, you had voted to transfer the Pauline Myers shelter at the juvenile facility to the DHS. Uh, we have now completed the survey, we've written the deed, has a reversionary clause in it, as you had asked, and it's ready to go. Um, I think some of the DHS people are here, and Gretchen Crawford worked hard on writing the, uh, the document. Okay. Care to speak? Okay. Uh, and I will just, for the record, indicate that the DHS folks uh, are in agreement with the, the uh, passage of this uh, particular item. Oh, I thought as, as stated from the audience. Uh, I, I think it's a great day uh, for us. This is a win-win for Oklahoma County, for the state of Oklahoma, for the citizens of Oklahoma County, and certainly the uh, children that will be uh, dealt with children and older older children <laughs> that will be dealt with at this facility uh, at the Pauline Meyer shelter so this is this took us a long time to get to but uh, I think uh, the good minds involved in it prevailed and we've got a great a great plan in place that will benefit the citizens of Oklahoma County and in a whole number of ways and so I gladly second item uh, 20. All in favor say aye. 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 Item, 20. <coughs> Item 21 is an amendment with United Mechanical for the work that's going on in this building. The original contract was for three years and has now expired. In that time, they've had to renegotiate their union contracts, so their labor costs went up about $1.56 an hour. So those are escalation costs that we're going to have to adjust the contract going forward. Uh, the total cost is about $29,000, and we've got two more years uh, on this contract. The good news, uh, most of the heavy work, this room here and the, ju or the uh, jury assembly downstairs is, is almost completed. Uh, bad news is the work that still has to be done is very detailed. Uh, floors three, four, and five, those op uh, elected officials will stay in business during that work, so it'll kind of almost ha happen a desk at a time. That's why the long extension. Well, then. All right, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, number 22 is a contract that has been completed at the juvenile facility to caulk and seal that building. Um, contractor performed the work and would recommend that we file it. Well, yeah. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. That's great because that's been a problem for a while. IT has a couple items. Are these just routine? Routine renewals. Did you want to talk about them? Good morning, 
everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, number 23, the PDT renewal, that's for the CIC phone system, for those that are on it. It's just a it's yearly renewal for support and license. Okay. Move that item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. 24 is for MAC systems. That is our for a, um, inspections into our fire suppression system in the data center and the fire extinguishers we have. It's actually overdue, so we need it. Okay. Where we at? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Christy, do you want to come talk to us? Social Services says 25 through 28. Good morning. Morning. Oh, you're so bright and cheery. You just make me feel good, girl. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, let's see. We have four items. Um, item number 25 is our lease agreement with the Oklahoma Employment Security Commission. Do you want to do this one at a time? We can. All right. We can. Uh, can Can you just talk a little bit about that program? Sure. That <clears throat> we we lease to two really free entities that are workforce related, kind of all working together. Okay. Oklahoma Employment Security Commission provides help with job search and um, unemployment assistance, that sort of thing. And then you have the COIB, which is the Central Oklahoma Workforce Investment Board, which is another part of that, and they employ a private contractor to also work with OESC on providing those services. And then um, a third one, which is the next item actually, is Career Tech, and they also participate in the workforce services. Um, they work primarily with people who have um, barriers um, from um, entanglements with law enforcement and okay. are trying to get back on the right side again. So those okay. three together kind of comprise the workforce services. Okay, so. good. That's kind of what I wanted to hear. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. i move this item. Uh, 25. Yes. Uh, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so then 26 is the one that I just mentioned, um, the lease agreement with the career tech. We'll be all right. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, 27 is our community support grant agreements. The committee met and went through all of the proposals, had a lot of really good discussion, and came up with a couple of options for your <coughs> consideration. Um, for the record, this, this committee consists of staff from my office, staff from the purchasing department, and staff from each one of your offices. Mr. Chairman, I move we approve option one. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, and then the next item, which is 28, is very similar, only it's for utility assistance grants. And the committee that works on that is comprised of staff from my office and from the purchasing department. And so the same thing, we have two options for your consideration on that. Okay, what's their recommendation for uh, this they're, board? They're very similar. Um, it's really if you have a strong feeling one way or another, we would be very content with either one. If you'd like for us to recommend one, I can do that. Okay, recommend. All right, um, option, uh, option two, I think. Move the item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Now the awards. Based on the, the voting that you just completed, then we will uh, recommend the ones that were voted on. Okay. Move the eye. Well, you got another one there. Oh, no, you got both of them. Okay. That's, that's just these. Okay. Very good. Uh, I second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Sheriff has a donation from... Uh, Nestle Farina Pet Care. Move this item. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 31 is for the chairman to uh, sign the service agreement with Oklahoma Electrical Supply. Move the item. For the Treasurer Resale Building. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Is there a motion aye. to approve the claims? Move the claim. Second. All in 
favor say aye. 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 Any change to the blanket? No. Move the blanket. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any citizens to be heard? If not, Commissioner Comments, District 1. Uh, nothing, no. Harry? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I was just going to mention that Monday night I had the opportunity to participate in the uh, induction of Mr. Jeff Bennett, who is a Edmond resident, and uh, he was a decathlete at Oklahoma Christian University. He came to school the same year I did there and ended up uh, participating in the 72 Olympics in Munich, Germany. Uh, on behalf of the United States, was the top American finisher uh, there in fourth place. Uh, he was inducted into the uh, Sports Hall of Fame uh, Monday night, and I had the opportunity to do his induction speech. And uh, it was a very nice uh, event, and we were on stage with uh, Big Country Reeves and uh, Jason Wyatt and a number of other notable athletes in Oklahoma, seven, seven in all, that were inducted. And uh, I just uh, wanted to make sure everyone knew about Jeff. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I I uh, had one question about the minute first, and I want who is Ron Cardwell? He's my uh, road superintendent. That's not your name. He's not a county commissioner. No, he's not a county commissioner. He's my road superintendent. Okay, then would you correct that, Ron Cardwell, superintendent, District Three? Where did you see that? On the agenda. On item 17, please. Oh. I noticed it, but I didn't know. figured it was a Scribner's error. Uh, but what I wanted to yeah. say, and I'm glad uh, uh, Ray brought it up, Mr. Deason, who was the first Af <coughs> African American. Gleason, I think. Gleason. Gleason. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, first African American uh, baseball player in the state of Oklahoma. 90 years old, moves like he's 50, strong voice, just an awesome person. He uh, did the sermon at my church Sunday, and people were just in awe. I heard it was fantastic. It was fantastic, yeah. So uh, I just didn't want to miss that being part of the record. Thank you so much. Barry Trammell did the induction for yeah. him, and it was just wonderful. Yeah. Okay, any new business? Hearing none, is there a motion to recess in executive session? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Ready? Move. Okay. Go ahead. Move. We'll go back into regular session. Uh, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Action on 38 and 39. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, if uh, you will indulge on item 38. I would move that we proceed as discussed in executive session. And on item 39, I would move that we initiate a lawsuit against the individual that damaged our property and has refused to settle the case. Second on vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. aye.